suddenly every mother has got a mobile phone which is a which is a source of information she can see youtube she can see all these whatsapps and all this information there is a information flood onto the mother and all this information has not been filtered by any scientific organization whosoever wants to put in whatever he just puts in and uh, it is just disseminated all across and uh, this gives the mother she she doesn't know whether it is from a credible source or it is from a source which should not be depended upon she believes everything and with the result these things they cause her biased action so that's a, in that situation it's very important for a physician like me or for uh, uh, my counterparts across the country to take that woman into confidence and start discussing about nutrition with them with her and tell her what exactly the needs of the child is, are uh, tell her thread bear that the child needs the proteins the child needs fats fatile need child needs carbohydrates also carbohydrates are important for the body and we know it sugar is a it's a, a synonym with carbohydrates that in scientific uh, community we use it and when it comes to uh, sugars uh, if we see naturally occurring sugars which are uh, we see that in fructose is found in uh, fruits then sucrose is uh, cane sugar then all the starch that we take that gets broken into maltose then in milk we find lactose these are some naturally occurring sugars but by and large all sugars are sweet to taste and uh, they are all carbohydrates i would rather say that uh, people have a little um, lopsided concept about sugar uh, when they when they see it on just from a, i would say oblique view uh, sugar as carbohydrates are very very essential part of our metabolism let us for example this is the sole energy source which is readily available although proteins can be converted to energy but only via converting it into sugar fats also can be converted into energy but only via converting it into sugar brain cannot use anything other than sugar for its own metabolism for its own function i am respiring my muscles are using energy they need sugar for this my kidneys are functioning my all organs are functioning and everywhere energy is required and this energy is required in the form of sugar the only thing that controversial is that how much added sugar you have added so that you restrict who says you can restrict that that good enough don't give too much of this thing don't give rasgullas in the end of uh, diet don't give uh, uh, sweets so make it just a balanced one and that's it